Let's take the cruise for its first test drive on the new cams and turbo and take her for a rip. Woo! Let's go. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Matt. Let's get the Chevy Cruze 1.8 turbo project up and running. Well, it's already running, but let's get it roadworthy, fix the exhaust, fix the boost controller, and do some pulls with the new turbo and see what the difference is. This is gonna be exciting. Let's go. <laughs> all right, I've got the boost controller hooked all back up. The issue I had with it is I had accidentally put the motor mount on top of it. So I just had to fix the wiring, basically re-splice the thing. However, I am setting up the boost controller a little differently. So I'm setting up this three port to act like a four port. So in other words, we'll get the feed off the turbo that will go to the bottom of the wastegate over over here. So with 0% duty cycle on the boost controller, we'll have spring pressure. Now, as the duty cycle increases on the wastegate port, it will stop sending pressure to the bottom. Had to wait for a sparkless guy to pass by, but it will stop sending pressure to the bottom of the wastegate, which opens the valve, and it will send all of that pressure up to the top so that way we can actually triple the wastegate spring so that way we can take this turbo all the way up to 45 pounds i do have a 14 pound spring in the wastegate so basically we're going to take it up the three bar which is about 43.5 somewhere around there so we should really max out this turbo with this particular setup without having to get a four port. And what happens once it sends that pressure to the top, we got this little T here that releases that pressure. So we'll give this a try and see how that works out. We'll toss our intake back on. I did saw off the mass airflow sensor here and inside just to plug this thing up so we can continue to use this. All right, I got the exhaust all hooked back up. Looks like I was just holding my tongue wrong when it came to how this thing was lining up. So just loosened everything up, tightened it up up here, pinched it together, and ready to go. Let's fire this thing up. We'll do a little bit of tuning, let things warm up, make sure nothing crazy is going on. Started right up. All right. Doesn't really sound that much crazy. Seems to be idling pretty decent. That log drive around a little bit. Keep an eye on our air fuel tune, and we'll just kind of work our way up to boost, figuring out, seeing if this turbo will actually come in a lot sooner. Okay, we got a log going. Sounds really good. Bumper. 
It does have a touch more of a lump to it. I do say so myself. Seems to have a little more pep in its step. Take it down the street. Let her break in a little bit. a little bit tweak my idle a little bit okay we'll do a little bit of tuning come back and check for leaks start working our way up into some serious boost <coughs> we got the tune written to the car nothing crazy going on under the hood you don't see any leaks or anything like that it's fired up see how this tune works out Take it a little further. Do some, uh, get her in the boost. Okay, log is going. Anywho, let's rinse and repeat going to download that tune or that run, make some changes, go back and rip on it some more. And that last rip, we got up to 20.4, almost 21 pounds of boost. And it's coming in. Here's where I hit the throttle. It's taking a couple seconds for it to come in. RPMs come up. I shifted at about... <laughs> Or let off at about 8,000. Um, it just shot up. I wasn't planning on taking it that high, but hey, oh crap, man, it's even more than that. Yeah, 22 pounds of boost. We're a little fat, so I do need to pull some fuel out, so I'll get to that. I'm really happy with the new setup, the cams, the turbo. The turbo's kicking in probably about 700 rpm sooner which is awesome however we're running out of injector and fuel pump at about 21 pounds of boost mid 20s mid to low 20s point is after about 21 psi our injector duty cycle starts going past 85 percent which to me is starting to be too much and our fuel pressure starts dropping we should start to see from the baseline fuel pressure of 58 we should see for every pound of boost a psi of pressure coming from the fuel system however once we get to about 21 22 23 it starts to taper off until we're down to about 50 something psi of fuel pressure at the fuel rail and the fuel injectors are pretty much just open spraying as much as they can in the meantime i'm going to think about a solution for upgrading the fuel system i need about twice as much fuel whether that's doing away with the stock gas tank and putting a fuel cell in the car thinking about either maybe a five the 10 gallon setup in the back or if we're going to go strictly race car with this thing continue to convert it to like a track car might do a two gallon fuel cell in the wheel well in the front kind of like they do the hondas let me know what you think down in the comments should i do a fuel cell in the back it'll help reduce weight also it'll allow me to do drag and drive events a little easier a lot easier i think i have a solution already made up in my mind for the fuel upgrade more pump more injectors but you'll have to stay tuned to find out see what i do we still need to install our coilovers that zzp sent us so we'll toss those on try them out and see what difference they make 
If you're new to the channel, give this video a thumbs up. Let me know I'm doing a good job with the content. Subscribe and peace out. Peace out.